hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl queen and today i am back with another video for you guys i'm so excited to be filming this video you guys have no idea um if you're a new viewer and you're not subscribed i mean consider subscribing i do fashion beauty and business related videos i also do social media and some lifestyle so whatever you're looking for you can find it on here so subscribe if you're a returning viewer on your notification gang then thank you so much for subscribing i'm super excited to be here once again today i am going to be talking about business license and whether you need one if you're an online business like guys <laughs> you have no idea how much i've been looking for this information and how much people have been asking me about this and it's funny that I just found this out myself so anyway guys if you want to find out all about that they keep on watching hey guys welcome back so the ultimate question here is as an online based business owner do you need a business license and I'm going to be talking specifically for um, Alberta Calgary uh, I'm not sure if this is different for Edmonton or other um, cities in the province but I'm going to be talking specifically for Calgary or I'm assuming this for the whole of the province I'm not sure don't quote me but I think this is specifically specifically for Calgary so um, I know you do need a business license so if you have a physical location in the city or whatever you do need a business license to carry out your business but what I haven't been able to figure out for some time now is if you did an online business license so I made a video about the nine steps you need to take to start your online business I'm going to link it somewhere so you guys can go watch that it has some really good information and I think this is like an addition to that video because after so much research I was able to come to the conclusion that yes you do need a business license for you to do business in Calgary even though it's online now there is so much information on their website I'm going to link it in the description box so you guys can go check it out I'm also going to link it like the direct link of what I'm talking about I'm going to link it in the description box so that you guys can go out and read it so according to the website there are so many different types of license and where you're going to the category that you're going to fit in would be the own based business now a lot of people might be like because that's what I was thinking as well but okay well I do work from home but like I don't have clients coming in and out of my house right but according to them even though you carry out your office um administration stuff at home if you store your physical look if you store your physical product at home if you um so far you live in the house and you're carrying out business activities if you're online posting about it on instagram you're in your house you're in your house and you're doing business from home then it's considered a home-based business now under the home-based business they do have two classes they have the class one and the class two so depending on the type of business that you do from home um, depending on the number of visitors that you're going to get on a daily basis depending on the number of vehicles that you're going to be using for your business depending on the size the amount of space you're going to occupy for your business all of this is what you're going to use to determine um, the type of license you're going to get now I'm going to go through each of each I'm going to go through each class and um, I'm going to let you know what the difference is and so you can kind of figure out which class you fit in from my uh, observation or from my um, from my opinion and when I studied um, the website and studied the information that they provided I think most online businesses if you're 100% online and you're just using your physical location to store your products then all you need to apply for is a class one home-based business license okay and there's a website where you can do that I'm going to film another video that shows step by step by step by step process of how you can go about filming that <laughs> of how you can go about registering your for your business license to do business online in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So let's go through both classes and um, if you guys want I can leave some screenshots of my communication with the um, with the agent that I spoke to. It was live chat so I had to I was asking him questions he or she I don't know but I'm going to leave it here so that you guys can um, 
really so you guys know that i'm not just making you guys go spend money and if you guys are curious it's going to cost you 172 dollars plus taxes i believe for you to get that license and this class one business license to work to do a business to do business in calgary alberta canada so let's go through each of the class okay and again guys i'm going to link all of this information um in the description so that you guys can go and read it for yourself that way you know exactly where you stand um that way you know exactly what kind of license you need to apply for and to add to that the website is designed in such a way that when you put in all of the information when it asks will ask uh when it asks you for a question and you put in your information automatically it would update the website and ask you for the next question and that was going to um recommend the type of license you need to apply for okay guys so the different categories that they have they have the commercial based location that's if you have a location that is commercial and they have the home based location which is what i'm going to talk about they also have the based out of town they have the mobile and they have the personal service it's all explained on the website but i'm going to go through the home based location which is what applies to online sellers so if you're based online you have two classes like i said we have the class one and class two so now for the class one these are the criteria. okay you must live in the house that you're going to be doing business from there's no there's no change in that you must be living in that house right there can be only two home-based occupation within that home so if somebody else already has a business in that house then you can be the second person but if there's already two people i i don't think you can i don't that's what this is saying and then you can also use only 20 percent of the floor area for your business so if your house is a thousand five hundred square feet you can only use 20 percent of that for the floor area okay you don't have any storage material outside there is no um there's no residential building you cannot mm -mm. The business cannot be visible from outside. The business cannot create any type of nuisance. You cannot, there, sh there can't be any noise, dust, odor, or smoke or light. So if you're a cooking business and your food really stinks, then you can do it from home. Um, if your, your partners and your business partners or your employees cannot come to that location to work, okay? They, if they do not live in the house, they cannot come to that location to work if they don't live in the house. And again, guys, this is all class one license okay you cannot have any large vehicles for the business um, you cannot directly sell the goods at home and you cannot do any form of advertising like putting like a signage outside saying oh there's a business here come and buy something and your address cannot be made public um, you cannot adv advertise your address publicly so these are all the rules for you to apply for class one business license in calgary own based and this is what really applies to um online business owners okay because and you can only have a maximum of three visits per week to your location so these are all the rules now there's also class two which is also for a home-based business as well also you must be living in the house your business can only also use 20 percent of the home area um again the garage you can use your garage for cooking or you can i tell you for cooking you can use your garage as a business so now here's the difference if you're only using your room as your business location or your business office then your class one if you use if you need your whole garage to work from then that's more like a class two that's one of the main difference that i've seen in this um in this in the in both classes um also the business also cannot be visible from the outside. You cannot create any type of nuisance. Um, you cannot generate traffic to or from your house. Um, you can only have one commercial vehicle. So that's the second difference. The first one is you can use your garage. And the second one is you can have one commercial vehicle. Um, also, there's a minimum of one parking stall. You can have five business associate vehicle visits per day and a maximum of 15 visits per week. So if you're going to have a maximum of 15 visits per week, that is class two. 
and this is pretty much all of the basic differences again i'm going to link it in the description box go and educate yourself so that way you can decide which one fits for you is it class one or class two and quite frankly if you're an online business owner and you're watching this video um that shows that class one is going to be the most appropriate for you because the likelihood that you're going to have people coming over um that you're going to need your garage or you're going to need a commercial vehicle doesn't really apply to you so class one would be the most appropriate route to take so guys i hope this was helpful like i said i'm also going to film another step-by-step -step tutorial on how to sign up and how to go through the website and fill out all of your information it's 172 dollars plus taxes i believe and that's for class one if you're in class two i really don't know you have to go through that process as well anyway guys i hope this was helpful helpful if you're a small business owner and you know someone that's a small business owner that works from home that has an online store send this video to them so that they can go re um, apply for their business license and they don't get to pay fines and fees for information that they didn't because honestly i'm not gonna lie this information like even though as as um as obvious as it is that it's online but the website was so annoying because it didn't really touch on online businesses and i feel like they need to have like a whole section that talks about online business because everyone is online right now so it's so annoying that we have to go through all of this process and try to figure out what is what and what isn't what anyway guys i hope this video was helpful for you guys um if it was give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe um i'll be back pretty soon with another video um, sharing some business tips with you guys and any other information that I might have that might help you grow your small business or help you grow whatever it is that you're trying to achieve money wise okay guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys